Hi, here we are in lockdown. The whole country is pretty much shut down. The video that you're about to see was made a couple of days ago. I was lucky enough just before we were told to stay at home to have the opportunity to go out to a remote part of the Lake District, very near my home, where I could continue to effectively uh, self-isolate or, or certainly maintain social distancing and give a, a video, perhaps the last outside video I'll make for quite some time. Predictably enough, it's about coronavirus. Wash your hands, we can't stress it enough. It's better than the hand gel, by the way. You see, soap is a surfactant. What that means is think about surface action. A virus has a cell membrane, a wall, and the surface of that membrane is acted upon by a surfactant, like soap. And the action is to completely dissolve it. And once that happens, once the protective layer is gone from the virus, the virus dies within seconds. Soap and water is way better than hand gel. Which leads me to another point. If all the sanitizer is in the back of your cupboard and the cupboards of people like you, that means it's not being used by the population, which is the case now. And if we can't use it, if we can't keep our hands clean, that means that more of us will get it. And if more of us get it, that does two things that you need to know about. First, it increases your risk. And secondly... It means that the NHS will be overwhelmed because we'll all get it at the same time, won't be able to cope with the problem, we'll have more deaths. So by hoarding sanitizer, if you're staying at home where you don't need sanitizer, you are making your own death and the deaths of those around you much more likely. Give it up, take it to your local NHS store, take it to the council, take it anywhere where a public body, a public organisation can dispense it. Because if you're at home, you don't need it. And certainly the back of your cupboard doesn't need it. But we do.